And you know what that means. This, toast to success. Literally and figuratively, we have done two potato chips. We have done Mountain Dew Spark. We have done edible cookie dough, which is the Funfetti variant. And we've done five new fusion energy drinks. This is my final portion of the ketchup. After this, four videos left. They're not mine. They're Ashley's actually. They'll be coming soon. And then we'll get AJ content, which will roll us into September. And starting in September, we got a lot of content coming your way. So get ready for that. A lot of movie content. But you know what that means? It's time for our final new fusion here on Sip and Snack. And we're going to go into Rainbow Unicorn. This is like a broken record. Cognitive candy, super creatine, and new fuel. Enhances your ability to focus, energy, and mental acuity, and performance and reaction time. Not intended for persons under 18. This is a 12-ounce can that has no carbohydrates, no sugars, no calories, and no artificial colors. The electrolyte matrix, once again, 10 milligrams of calcium, 4 milligrams of magnesium, 89 milligrams of sodium, and 51 milligrams of potassium. The Red Line New Fusion Blend is 3,282 milligrams. I just hate these words. The Betaine Anhydrous, which is going to be 2,500 2, milligrams. Again, my ability to focus, it's not keeping me from stepping over. But then again, don't forget, I have had a lot of energy drinks. So there, 300 milligrams of caffeine, a cognizant, which is citicoline coline in this case, 250 milligrams, L-theanine, super creatine, yohimbe extract, and theocrine. Hopefully I never have to say those words again. This is Rainbow Unicorn, and we're going to try it. Let's see what it smells like. Rainbow Unicorn smells like sweet tarts. Of course it's clear. Try it here. Oh my. Sheer definition of liquid sweet tarts. Apparently that's what, apparently, I don't know. That's what a rainbow unicorn is supposed to taste like, liquid sweet tarts. A little bit of a chalky aftertaste, not too much though. This actually might be my favorite of them, potentially. If it sticks in my throat the way that it is right now, it's actually probably the most. Well, I can't say it's understated because it tastes like a liquid sweet tart and it's like an extreme liquid sweet tart. Like they took a giant sweet tart and just plopped it into an energy drink and that's what it tastes like. It's not bad. There's no weird aftertaste. It's probably the most successful of the entire group. I'm gonna hold it in my hand in hopes that it actually becomes the thumbnail for this video because that's not worked so far. We finally have caught up. This is the 20, let's see, where are we? I don't know, I think it's like the 23rd right now, technically speaking. So let me check to see, I'll do it on camera here. Yeah, maybe like the 23rd. I'm not exactly sure, we'll figure it out. It's the last new fusion we're doing on the network. I'll probably never do one of these again because it's just such a fail overall. That's your sip and snack for today and more Ashley content coming and then AJ content will roll us into September and we'll finally be caught up. If you have any ideas for sip and snack or versus any other regular segments on the network, feel free to shoot me an email, surrodisney at gmail.com. In the meantime, I wanna thank you guys and girls out there for watching. And until tomorrow, boys and girls, that's all I gotta say about that.